Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will demonstrate how to replace a single pole light switch. For this purpose, I got this uh, Leviton Decora Edge single pole light switch. This is a new series of Decora style switches from Leviton and it has many nice features. We will check all of this. All these features in this new series of Decora type switches makes it easy for anyone to install the switch. Even a homeowner or a DIYer can install this switch very easily. So let's see how quickly I can replace this switch. With. So let's get started. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. The switch comes in a nice packaging. Inside the box, you will get the Leviton Decora switch and installation instructions which are in two languages. These instructions not only mention the features of this new switch but also explain how to install it. Let's take a look at some of the new features in this Leviton Decora Edge series. First of all, yes, you will notice that there are no exposed metal parts. There are no screws. There are no metal strips here. If you want to compare this to the old one, the traditional Decora style, you can see this is the ground screw and we have the ground lever here. On the other side, we have two brass screws for connecting the load wires and on this one, we also have two black color coded push and click connectors. These connectors are very similar to Vago style lever nut connectors, but I would say they are much stronger than the Vago lever nut connectors. So as I said, there are no exposed metal parts. There are no screws to which you tighten the wires. Pull out the lever, insert the wire on the back side. This is not like backstabbing. This is actually called back wiring, not backstabbing. Push the lever out, open the lever, take your wire, just insert the wire in this slot and then push the lever back. And this makes a very strong connection. See, I'm trying to pull it out and it doesn't come out. So that's why it is stronger than the backstabbing process. If you think you made a mistake in connections, just pull the lever again and take out the wire. It is so simple. When you push it down, you hear the click and then you're done. Leviton calls it push, click and done. Pull out the lever, insert the wire, push it down and you are done. Pull out the lever, take out the wire. Again you are done. The next nice feature about these switches is that the tabs are color coded. Connectors are color coded. You see black here. That means this is a single pole switch and only black wires are connected here. On the other side, you will see a green connector here for connecting the ground wire. Now in case this is a three-way switch and you have a Leviton Decora Edge, three-way switch it looks like this again very similar look no exposed metallic parts color coded terminals black terminal for the incoming line wire there's one red terminal on this side for first traveler wire and there is a second red terminal here for the other traveler wire and the green terminal for the ground wire but today i'm installing only a single pole light switch on the front side of the switch, you will see top is marked here. So this side is top. That means the line in and line out. Or you can say line in and load out. These black wires are connected on the right side. On the left side, we have a green connector where we will connect the ground wire if it is available. This is an old house, so maybe the ground wire is not there. On the back side, you will see a metallic strip here and a metallic strip here. This is for self-grounding the switch. And because we have to insert the wire in these holes, we need to know how much wire we will strip for that. On the left hand side, bottom corner here, hope you can see that, we have a strip gauge. So take the wire and measure it from here like this. This much wire is to be stripped. This is about half an inch. Take your stripper, 14 gauge wire, 
so this is about half an inch or you can say 5 16th of an inch measure it again this will make sure that we don't have overexposed wire we don't have extra long wire which is exposed outside the connector and this is how we can check it this wire that i'm using is a 14 gauge wire but this switch can also take a 12 gauge wire so these holes are good for 14 gauge as well as 12 gauge wire this switch is for ac only rated 120 volts 15 mps if you see the marking upside down then you are installing the switch upside down so for old work like this if you have a bigger hole this switch has extra tab on top and bottom you can keep these tabs otherwise you can just break them take a plier hold it from here and twist it couple of times inside outside and it will break there you go if you decide not to break these extra plastic tabs then you will need a midway cover plate which is larger than the normal size first things first i will go down and turn off the circuit breaker the light is on right now when i switch off the circuit breaker this should go off the light is off that means the circuit breaker is off but after i open this I will again make sure that there is no power in the wires. Remove the cover plate. I am using this Sperry touchless voltage tester today to make sure there is no power in the lines. There is no power so it is safe to proceed. I will now remove the switch and the wires. So we have one white wire here and one black wire. This is an old house, about uh, 50 years old. So I have no idea right now which wire is the line wire and which wire is the load wire. Uh, but I will connect as it is connected right now. I will maintain the configuration. On the new switch as well, I will connect the white wire at the bottom and black wire at the top. I don't have enough length here so I will not cut the wire but uh, reuse this straighten it out and reuse this I will check with the strip gauge how much length of the exposed wire I need about a quarter of inch wire is more here check again good good I just removed the top plastic tab as well, the extra tab. Connecting the first wire, push, click and you are done. Second, load wire, push the wire in, click and you are done. Try to pull them, make sure they are not loose. That's it. I leave it here, turn on the circuit breaker and then see if the switch is working or not. After that I will uh, tighten these screws and install the cover plate. The circuit breaker is on, turn on the switch and the light is on. Now I will tighten these two screws and install the cover plate. Just make sure it is not over tight and with the cover plate or face plate make sure it is straight. Little bit on this side. No over tightening.
So this project is complete. This was a small project, an easy one. In a later video, I will explain how to replace old toggle type 3-way switches with the same Leviton Decora Edge series of switches. I hope this video is useful. If you like the video, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There are several other DIY videos on my channel. And those videos are in addition to my astronomy and astrophotography videos. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Until then, please take care.